Um, thank you everyone for turning out today, taking time out of your very busy schedules on a cloudy, rainy afternoon. Um, we're very pleased that you can join us to help us celebrate this occasion, which we're very excited about, uh, which is the grand opening of our facility. Uh, <clears throat> before I uh, say a few words and then ask the minister to speak, um, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of a few dignitaries that are here. Uh, obviously, we have the Minister of Transport here, the Honorable Walter Raban. I did see uh, the MP for this constituent, uh, the Honorable Davida Fogo, where she is trying to hide from me. <laughs> and uh, the, the U.S. Consul General, Seche, was he's here. Thank you, sir, for coming. And the worshipful uh, Mayor of St. George's, Kenneth Bascom, is here somewhere. Sebastian. You're usually not shy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <coughs> you're usually not quiet either. Uh, um, I've been involved in this project from what I'll term conception to, to birth. Uh, it's been a long uh, process. We started in, in earnest in 2009, but you know, we were involved obviously well before that, 2007, 2008. Many, many people have worked very hard to get us to where we are today. But I have to single out a few people who I have worked with during this period who have made a significant contribution and if it were not for them, we probably wouldn't be here today. Um, it all started for me and my relationship with Universal with my introduction to someone named Charles Milosky who is no longer uh, he's not here today and he's been promoted within the company. He's, he's in uh, Asia now, but he was my introduction. And uh, he opened the door for me to have meetings with the owner of the company, Mr. Greg Evans. And uh, we hit it off and we understood uh, what we were trying to achieve and, uh, and here we are today. But Charles, once we started, once we were awarded the project, the bid by D a DAO, he turned me over to a young lady within Universal by the name of Holly Burke, who is here. Holly, just put your hand up. Holly, uh, she was the point person in Universal for getting the project going. Um, I don't know if she had this name before, this nickname before, but now we know her as the Taskmaster. She is, she is a ball of energy and a motivating force. She certainly kept me, I was just talking to Aaron about, you know, several times during this, this journey, I put my hands up and said, I surrender. Um, Holly kept me focused, motivated. Uh, many thousands of emails, hundreds of conference calls, boxes of documents that we went through. Um, but she played a very important role in getting us through this. Thank you, Holly. Um, Aaron Adderley. The airport general manager, I'm sure everyone here knows him. Uh, we had to sit with Aaron many, many times to negotiate various agreements and leases and discuss strategy and his very cool, calm, collective, practical approach to things. Um, again, even when things were rough, uh, we can laugh about it now, but Aaron was committed to this project, has been from, from the get-go, and I'd like to acknowledge him and thank him for his support uh, in, you, in this. Um, the Board of Universal Weather and Aviation have been very patient with this project. Although I've never presented to the board or sat in front of the board, I, I always, was always conscious that they were there. Um, the people that I was working with, Holly and Charles, they had to report back as to progress or lack of progress. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'd like to thank them for their patience and their perseverance and uh, their confidence in, in me and the team to actually pull this off. Uh, the other person is uh, Cindy Pierman, who's here, who I understand is now the collector of customs. At the time I started uh, speaking with her, she was acting collector of customs, so congratulations, Cindy. Uh, she, um, I would describe her as having a very pragmatic approach to 
uh, the requirements that we had to satisfy in order to comply with customs controls and, and so forth. And I was very pleased and it was refreshing to deal with uh, a civil servant who had that perspective. I'll just put it that way. So thank you, Cindy. And uh, lastly, uh, amongst the dignitaries uh, was the Attorney General, who's not here today, the Senator Kim Wilson, who when we reached an impasse on legal issues between ourselves, uh, the government, um, other third parties, I'll put it that way, she stepped in when she didn't have to, uh, she got engaged in the process and actually brokered a way forward for us. So I'm sorry she couldn't be here today. She did send her regrets, but um, I'd like to acknowledge her efforts in, in, in moving us along when we really thought we had reached an impasse in, in, this, in this project. And of course, nothing would be possible without our people. And uh, we, we commenced operations about three months ago, I think it is. And I have to say thank you and acknowledge uh, Sheldon Steed, who's our operations manager. Where are you, Sheldon? Oh. Uh, Sheldon has the distinct honor of being employee number 001 of, of, of Universal Aviation. Uh, um, and he helped us recruit uh, the rest of the team and they've worked very very diligently and hard often under difficult circumstances if you can imagine being in this building in August with no air conditioning and uh, heat and just things all over the place uh, organized chaos really they've worked very diligently and very hard to to get us to what you see here today so those are the people that I wanted to single out um, and say that after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, here we are. I think it's a, a clear indication of, of the commitment and dedication of our people, of the company, um, of myself, to not just this initiative, but to Bermuda as a jurisdiction, and our, our confidence that we can do well here and, and uh, in this business environment, even in tough economic times. So thank you very much for coming. I'm going to ask the Minister, the Honourable Walter Raban, to say a few words, and then I'm going to ask the CEO, Ralph Sassi of, of uh, Universal, to say a few words, and then we'll have the ribbon cutting take us a few photographs, and that'll be it. Minister. Thank you. thank you, Mr. Tucker. Just like to acknowledge you've done an eloquent job with the protocol, so not, not more needs to be said there. I just want to acknowledge my, my um, permanent secretary who is here, of course, Mr. Adderley, who is the head of operations for the airport and the executive team from Universal's parent company. But um, I think, as with most projects, it's the people that make it work. Those of us who have responsibility do rely often on armies of capable people to get things done. So I, too, would like to echo your congratulations to your team here who have done the job. In 2010, the Department of Airport Operations issued a request for proposal for the operation of a fixed-based operator and universal aviation was deemed the best suited to provide the aviation services as specified. Negotiations commenced and, the, and a Bermuda company was formed, Universal Aviation Bermuda. Universal Aviation Bermuda is a full-service FBO exclusively focused on the business of aviation traffic at the Ellis Wade Airport. The parent company, US, U, um, Universal Weather and Aviation Inc. was founded in 1959 and its headquarters in Houston, Texas. It is a global business. Aviation trip management company employs 1,700 people worldwide and has facilitated 2.5 million trip legs. The local facility on Apron 4 provides Bermuda with a second fixed base operation, bringing international expertise and standards to the provision of services to general aviation traffic in Bermuda. Universal Aviation Bermuda took possession of the Apron site in May 2012, and the company began its final phase, including the recruitment 
and intensive training of Bermudian staff. The facility is a new and spacious, state-of-the-art, purpose-built, providing users with positive and professional first and last impression of Bermuda. The lo this location has been identified by U.S. Customs and Border Protection as a location for a GA preclearance facility, and once this service commences, it is poised to boost stopover traffic to Bermuda en route to the USA and from Europe. We are very happy and welcome this additional provider of first class internationally regarded aviation services in Bermuda. It helps to signal that we are open for business. Bermuda's goal is to be a leader and all our services to all individual clients, whether it is insurance, financial services, and tourism, also aviation. We must serve all of our visitors in a quality, first-class fashion, and this facility, I am certain, fits that standard. All the best to Universal Aviation and the team you've put together here to complete the job. And as a representative of the Governor of Bermuda, I can say that we are happy you are here. We are glad and excited about the services you are going to be able to provide and we look forward to working with you long into the future. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, I know uh, the CEO of Universal uh, Weather and Aviation will speak, Mr. Ralph Bassami. Um, believe it or not, although Ralph and I, he, he just arrived this afternoon, uh, a couple of hours ago. Believe it or not, although Ralph and I have spoken many times on the telephone and conference calls and meetings and so forth, uh, conference meetings, I only met him for the first time today. Um, and he shared with us earlier, us and the staff, that he's been with Universal for over 30 years. Uh, I think that's, that's, a, that's a strong uh, indication of, of the type of loyalty and uh, commitment that the company instills and gets from its people. And I was quite impressed with that. I was impressed with what he had to say to, to the employees and to the staff. And we welcome you, Ralph. Thank you so much for thank coming you. because there are lots of other places you could have been today. Um, what well, we thank you so much for being here. It's an honor. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much, Herman, and thank you, Minister Roban, for those great words. I was, well, I'm not going to uh, repeat the thank yous because obviously it comes from my heart to we greatly appreciate the team effort that made today possible and is going to make success here in Bermuda possible. One thing I do want to share with you, though, is what I shared with the staff. As Herman said, this is my 30th year with Universal. I started as a high school intern back in, I hate to say 1977, because I, I want you to think I'm only 30 years old, but I'm not. <laughs> but there's been technology changes, regulatory environment changes, airplanes change, customer demands change. But the one thing that has remained constant has been people. People make the difference, and people have made Universal what it is today. And obviously, we've already heard some kind words about it's the people here in Bermuda that got us to where we are today. The one thing that, that Universal values most is that we, all of us are now part of something greater and bigger than just an FBO or aircraft handling company okay, or a location on a map. We're something bigger than that. We're part of a, Bermuda is now part of a global community, a support system for business aircraft all around the world. And it's the spirit of the people united to shared and common goals is what makes us tick. And it's the spirit of, of unified people that really what our customers value the most and why we have customers with Universal that have, not only have I been there for 30 years, but we have customers that have been there even longer than me. That's the one constant that remains. And the one thing that we believe in as a company is that there's more to an aircraft handling or a flight than a movement in and out. Every flight has a story. Every flight has significance and has a meaning. And those meanings, when they come here to Bermuda, same as they are around the world for business transactions and business meetings, those help move economies, those help create jobs for people. Business aviation also enables many humanitarian flights when people are in need, when we hear earthquakes and tsunamis and hurricanes and things like that. 
Business aviation enables, and it's the people that make it happen, to help others to enrich and even to save lives. We do cancer patient uh, transport, wounded veterans, because they can't go on the airlines. Maybe people just want to come to Bermuda and enjoy this lovely place that you have here for vacation. Or maybe it's just a mother and a father trying to get home to make their kids soccer games. All of those are the reasons why people use airplanes. That's why we come to work every day, because we're all supporting a higher cause. And those missions mean things to people, and that's what we're all a part of. So whether you're the staff here, the government, the other service providers, it takes all of us working together in harmony toward shared and common goals to really, really make it happen. And that's what's kept me in this business and this company for over 30 years. And we are really, really excited about the passion that we see here, the team effort, and everything else, because we really feel that Bermuda only adds to our global community in a, in a very, very big way. So I just want to congratulate all of you on a job well done, and you're part of something really special, and we're tremendous to have you. Thank you very much for everything. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>